Welcome to the start of my Let's Play for a random Grand Escape. The game where the developer was so lazy they couldn't even put the name on the title screen, apparently. Jeez. Oh, jeez. We gotta work for skeletons? <sighs> Maybe. Hmm. If he has a fire bag, why hasn't he used it? I refuse to accept it. Hmm. No way, huh? <laughs> well, I'm crazy enough to do it if it means escape, man. The boss, huh? Yeah, don't miss. Oh, I'll be a hero, all right. Well, no. Well, jeez. That was easy. Why does he have the key to the gate up ahead? Now that's just stupid. <sighs> yeah, it probably would. Well, we'll set the beam up the old way, I guess. Solite? Eh, we'll just call him an elf. Wait, we can't just leave the other slaves. Let's help you out. Wow. <laughs> Wobbies, huh? Son of a snake. Jeez. Guess they want to drop, you know, the usual term, I guess. Yeah, I wouldn't want to live in a dark cave either. It really sucks. Of all people, they can suck your blood out of your neck. So wait, he's a vampire? No, he is an elf. Okay. Ellis the Elf, huh? Weird choice in name. Oh, that sucks. Gemology. Seriously, there ain't any other books here. Ah. A necromancy tome, huh? I guess that's what he uses to revive people. As skeletons. Not gonna happen. Running. But why are you running? Makes no sense. And why aren't you questioning why I'm up these stairs anyway? I know how to use them. How do you think Zack and I made it as far as we did on our own? Well, no. Only five, huh? Well, four now. Well, no. Oh, great. We can't sleep in because we might get caught. How does he know we made a wrong turn looking for the big boss? You're right. If we don't save him, who will? Jeez. Okay. I don't know if it's cocky, you know, if we manage to pull it off. 
my question is, are there any healing items down here? Anywhere? Jeez. How many of these guys are there down here? Jeez. This way, we're gonna run off fire backs when we get out of here. Here we go, there's more skeletons! Okay, so that's where the boss's room's at. Well, I still have a firebomb with his name on it. Firebag, yeah. Not sure, huh? Uh, so the boss around here is death? Reference in the so called pursuit you call peace, yet you fail to realize that the cash you yearn to is but your own creation. Think about it. Why are criminals born with each passing day? Why are families' nature alike often reduced to ash by corrupted officials? All for the sake of financial gain. And why bring down your very creations, only to replace them and repeat the cycle? Let me tell you why. Humans are an inherently destructive species who can only serve, serve as harbingers of annihilation. Well, that is what they desire. At least the slides realize this flaw and isolate themselves so as to suppress it. Speaking of which... I'm only here for my pay, Fenton. Pay? Fenton tried to cheat me. I added you to the inventory after I finished scouting out new slays. Ah, great. Got that right. Ugh. Jeez. Kind of knows all about your species' shape past, even if you've let yourselves forget it ever happens. You know what? Now I'm sick of this disguise. I've spent years perfecting it. Thanks a lot. Why did you wear one? Oh uh, yeah, that makes sense. So how about I take care of these slaves for you? I won't charge. Well, jeez. Item. Well, now. Oh, jeez. Well, no, I guess we're screwed. Unless we can summon divine powers all of a sudden. Don't give up, huh? What's going on? Where did you come from? I suppose. Maya, huh? Ah, uh, I still don't have any special attacks. Guess the only option is just to keep hitting fight until it falls over. Oh, we missed. Gosh darn it. Does she have, like, any special attacks we could use? Like, she instantly kills Alice. And then just casually kills death, apparently. Whatever. We really don't care, man. Oh, whatever. Motto pork. 
Someone's on the other side of the world. What are you doing way out here? Doing my job. What do you think you are doing anyway? Being a hero? Got a point. No, it's not. It's about survival, staying alive, not getting killed. Clearly you thought if you bolted in guns ablaze, everything would work out, but that's not how it works, stupid. No, no, we really don't. Well, of course I was, or was I? I don't know anymore. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Though it ain't really much of a legend. What the coming true every few hundred years, like clockwork or something. My grandma and my dad would tell me about them all the time. Born from peak of dragon's flame, a life peace from darkest pyre, to arms a call from angels high, a noble mind from hell's desire. So that tens of thousands of years ago, two souls were tasked with maintaining order in the world. One good, the other evil. After finding out death was responsible for enslaving countless people the world over, Malapork has reason to believe the two souls of legend are about to return. Well, the last time that happened was almost 500 years ago. Wait, now I think about that makes their return a little late. Hmm. I suppose. Yeah, let's go then. Seriously. Let's get out of this crap hole. Of course, not in my life. I mean, I wish I'd saved that last fire bag. So all of a sudden, BAM! Zombie attack. Huh. Whatever. Yeah, we're free, all right. An airship, huh? <laughs> a vase, huh? Or is it a boss? Hmm. Guidance falls, huh? No, no, I got home. I just feel out of place there, like I belong somewhere else. I've been looking for that place for a while now. Giga? Convenient. Ah, uh, whatever. Jeez. Got a point. <laughs> Undoubtedly. So can this just be considered a prequel to a much bigger game then? Cause it's not like we really accomplished anything at the end of this. Like, oh, we freed some slaves, but the great evil that's gonna destroy the world is still coming. Until next time, then. See ya.